to I continue the, at wide receiver and continue talking about the moops. I'm sorry, the Moors <laughs> for everybody that I got that. <laughs> DJ Moore is yeah. DJ Moore is up next. Uh, this is funny. We've brought this up on the show before too, because I was known as I hate DJ Moore because I was just every single year I'm like I'm just ranking him wide receiver 18. He finishes some weeks as wide receiver 10, some weeks as wide receiver 40. I'm done playing this game. He finishes mm-hmm. with 11, 12, 1300 yards with three touchdowns. I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm tired of DJ Moore. Everybody's like, but you hate him. I'm like, no, I like him. I love the talent. He's just, this is who he is. But he is now in a new situation. He is going to be playing with a rookie quarter, or not, sorry, was going to be playing with a rookie quarter. He's playing with Justin Fields, emerging as one of the better fantasy options. But when it comes to passing, that's the concern that we continue to talk about with Justin Fields. There's also more ballots to feed than there were. Like, DJ Moore was there last year with how bad Chase Claypool was. Darnell Mooney was broken. Like it was big DJ Moore, but now healthy Mooney, Claypool, maybe there's some hope left. More options. Cole Komet is coming into his own. The backfield receiving options we talked about when we did the running back show. But DJ Moore now, this is interesting, Lauren, because now my rankings are telling me you love him because my projections mm-hmm. are saying chill out. So my rankings I have DJ Moore as wide receiver 17. That is five over ADP. Yeah. Interestingly enough would make him wide receiver 22 projections checked him in as wide receiver 23. So my projections are telling me, Jake, you're dumb. You're too high on DJ Moore. Lauren, which would you go with? Would you go Jake, the ranker or Jake, the projection maker? <laughs> Can I go somewhere in between? Literally. Okay. So, all right. There's nope. only six spots. You can't like, nope. pick one right in the middle. Like I can't with this anymore. <laughs> like I can't. All right. Jake and I have talked about this enough. I think the world has talked about it enough. You want to call me DJ Moore hater, go for it. I don't care. I am not getting my hopes up about DJ Moore ever again. It never, ever, ever am I going to get my hopes up about DJ Moore. So I'm going the wide receiver 23. I'm I'm not even going to deal with it. If he finishes as the wide receiver 17, surprise, surprise. Oh my gosh. Good for you. This is ridiculous. I am done with the DJ Moore conversation. If he falls to me at an appropriate place. Wow. <laughs> if he, if he you falls to DJ Moore him, hater. Yeah, there you DJ go. Hater. If he Who do you dislike me, more, Miles Sanders or DJ Moore? Oh, Miles Ooh. Sanders far and away. Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Wow, really hate but if Miles, he if he right? if he falls to me at an appropriate spot in, in the draft, I don't Anybody have a problem that's put taking on a Panthers him. uniform ever. <laughs> and <it's> point- <laughs> that's it. Maybe that's it. No, you just not. don't like Carolina. What North Carolina do to you, I Lauren? love Carolina. The Carolinas are absolutely beautiful. She, Stop she it. She does no. road trips and just starts throwing trash out the window. I, I hate you guys. Not do that. <laughs> You guys are evil. I am just sick of the DJ Moore hype. It really has nothing to do with him as a player because he has had to make the best as he possibly could out of the most hot trash garbage situations, which are not his fault. But everyone just wants to keep believing in this sensation and this idea of him when it's like, okay, he was in really crappy situations. He's in a slightly better one ish this year. So are we are we really are we really going to have this conversation again? DJ Moore is who DJ Moore is, and he is going to be in a system where there's a lot of other mouths to feed here. So let's be appropriate. Let's not put wishful thinking in when it comes to his ranking. So I'm going with the ranker, not the projections. I say high end wide receiver 20s. Let's so, say 23, look, like you were wait, saying. And if it rules me before before you answer, Manny, will you do me a favor after the show, Lauren? Will oh, you God. go on Twitter and block DJ Moore? <laughs> no <laughs> just do it Why? Oh, come on <laughs> there's absolutely no him. purpose to this <laughs> no. i love it just block him he's yeah, look, Why? i'm looking right now he barely ever tweets he's not even gonna know he tweets <laughs> so a, then what is tweets, gonna be the purpose of this he tweets about the bears a little so he doesn't bit even have, tweets, there, is, like, there is no purpose no i'm no, not just because no. that's how much you hate him i just want oh, you to no no no. Him. so i'm blocking his social media team oh and i'll really get dj more good with that one <laughs> block <laughs> oh, man. I remember drafting him last year. I, I think love it was DJ Moore, though. It just stinks. And I remember Bob Harris saying, I just remember the question. Like when when Lauren was saying slightly better situation, I remember saying that last year, saying that Sam Darnold was slightly better for, for <laughs> DJ Moore's game. And it didn't work out really. But if you go back and look at the last five years, I mean, he's like fifth or sixth among wide receivers and receiving yards. He's right there with all the goats. Like he's with Devon. He's actually he's pretty far up there in touchdowns. People don't realize it's you know, yeah. health part there, of it. 
Sure, there, it's like above twenty. It's not a brutal number. It's not like in like Adams is an outlier. I think he's at like forty eight over that span. But um, the one thing I do like about DJ Moore is like, I mean, he's really good. Can we agree on that? Like, he's a really good wide receiver. Yeah, he's explosive. Yeah. Uh, he's great after the catch. And well, I let think me this ask you is this: a pretty meaning? good situation for him. Is he the new Allen Robinson? Like, oh, like this is going to be, be it? That bad, this, you mean? No, 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 that good. This is going to be the. This, oh. this is going to be the peak Allen Robinson. Like he's dealt with, as Lawrence said, he's dealt with so much. He's a really good he's, wide receiver. Like, yeah, Justin Fields I, and the Bears unlock him. Yeah, I, th- I think so. They, man, they're aggressive going to get him. And I just, I think I've said this a couple times on this show. Just when did we see Josh Allen? take off when they got Stefan Diggs when did we see right. Jalen Hurts take off when they got AJ Brown so I don't really believe in Claypool and Mooney but I think they're in better situations now as like a two and a three and Cole Komet was great down the stretch yes, and was. he was really the only guy that was catching passes from Justin Fields so I do believe in Fields I think he can improve as a passer you know in year two with the new with just this offense and the Eber Flus and everything that they want to do in Chicago and I just think the way that Fields can extend plays with his legs and the way that DJ Moore can find open spaces and get down the field, I think he's going to be very boom or bust. But I think there's going to be a lot of boom in his game. So as a guy that's going wide receiver 24, 25, and has finished roughly wide receiver 17, 18 with all those piss poor quarterbacks, I think he can get to, I'm on the ranking side of Jake. See, and I, again, I want to reiterate, it's not like I'm going to just boycott him and not just like, oh, ew, DJ Moore. But if he falls appropriately to me in the draft, absolutely. But I'm not going to continue to try to jump on a DJ Moore hype train simply because he plays in a for a different team this if year. If you can get him as your wide receiver three, I think. Absolutely. I am all man. about that. Because like you said, it's going to be boom or bust. Hopefully it's a little bit more hard. boom than the bust. It'd be hard to but do that. But I just, I'm, I can't ever get you'd on have a to, DJ Moore hype train. You'd have to go wide receiver in three of the first four rounds for that. Yeah. Yeah, it's for pretty much impossible. You'd have to have a bunch of Lauren. Uh, okay, Lauren's so then how about do, let's happens. do a quick toss up, Manny? These guys are so <laughs> mean to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's do a quick. You're not wrong. Quick face to face. We're not not we're not making a list. Just a quick face to face. We'll do a D first first name initials D J more, and we'll do D K Metcalf. Who would you rather have, Manny? Oh, it's not even close. I want Metcalf. Not even close. Oh. Really? Yeah, it's Lauren. not close to me. Like I want. I definitely want Metcalf. I am in the same boat. Same, hmm. same. As much as I would love for, you know, viewership and um, some diversity, I can't disagree with Meanie. And Gino, by the way, <laughs> Gino, by the way, is the best quarterback going outside the top 15 at the position for a guy that finishes a, what, top five, top six quarterback, eighth in fantasy points per game, led the NFL in completion percentage, got the best wide receiver in the draft in Jackson Smith and Jigba, still has Lockett and DK. Their defense improved too. Seattle is that team. Right. It's not Detroit. Same. It's Seattle is that up and coming team this year. Okay. All I heard was then, Jacob. Eh, eh. <laughs> well, no. So here's where You're I'm wrong, going. You're wrong, meanie. No, yeah. not at all. I'm kidding. I'm really interested in the D when you both said not even close because so I have just so you guys know DK Metcalf for me is wide receiver 14. That means he's only three spots in front of me mm. in front of DJ Moore. Uh, and I'm even probably not going to have DK Metcalf around that spot. I don't love it because Tyler Lockett, Tyler Lockett was the wide receiver one last year. He was a wide receiver one last year. The whole Jackson Smith and Jigba, everybody's like, ah, oh, like, what if he affects DK Metcalf more than he is Tyler Lockett? Tyler Lockett has been Tyler Lockett. Like, and we're talking about disrespect. Tyler Lockett mm-hmm. is probably yeah, the most disrespected years. top 20 wide yeah. receiver in fantasy for year after year after this. Projections, I'm gonna bring them up again. Again, you can this is why you can go play with them and customize them and say, This is why you're dumb, Jake. I'm gonna give DK Metcalf 30% of the target share. You're an idiot. But with similar use to last year for DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, they finish similar to what they did last year. Right now, projections I have Tyler Lockett at wide receiver 13. That's one spot in front of Chris Calvin Ridley, which I can't stomach, but he's there. And then the other one is DK Metcalf is down at wide receiver 22. Now, to give you an idea. That's only 18 point difference, not even just about a point per game, which is the difference in points per game from DJ Moore to DK Metcalf last year. Interestingly enough, 10.9, 9.9. So is DK Metcalf having all that information still a wide gap for you? You're free. This is two versus three. You guys are winning the argument by majority rules right now. Do you think it should be closer to what I have or are you guys the right ones, Meanie? I mean, I just think that DK has a better chance of finishing as a wide receiver one compared to DJ Moore. That's it. Like I have him. I will agree with that. You do too. 12, Better 13, ceiling. 13, I think worse floor. 
I think yeah. the floor is worse yeah. than Metcalf. Yeah, okay. I think that's fair. Um, I just like he he. I don't think he had a career year, but it was much better than the last season with Russ. Like he didn't have the same sort of touchdowns, but he he had more targets. He had more catches. Like he was he was a. I thought he was Gino's number one guy. Maybe one A one B between him and Tyler Lockett. Like I would never fight you on Lockett. I mean Lockett has been the most disrespected wide receiver last year. When it's like wide receiver, somebody in the chat just called him a roach, which is like I it's, think it's, it's great disrespectful, but a compliment at the same and, time. Yeah, he'll <laughs> never die. Yeah, I mean last year was the same thing. Like Metcalf was going as wide receiver 12, 13, and Lockett was going as wide receiver thirty four, thirty seven, and Lockett was just like an unbelievable value. Um, but now you add Jackson Smith at Jigba. Like, there's no question DJ is the number one option. I mean, you could, there's going to be moments maybe where Geno spreads that out to all those weapons. But I, I would just say that I, the reason I like DK and I said maybe not even close, maybe that's, maybe that's wrong. It is close because they're both wide receiver twos in my rankings. It's kind of close, but I just think DK's got a higher ceiling. See, I, I think DK has a higher ceiling and I think he also has a higher floor. So I disagree with you guys on that one. I don't think that JSN is going to be that much of a thorn in his side to use your phrase from earlier, Jake, um, that this year, uh, because you got, this is the, this is the rookie hatred that I always get, you know, like, you know, pooped on for, <laughs> like, I don't really care for rookie wide receivers. I don't think that they're going to be as much of an impact unless you're a freak of nature. So like someone, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, I think that this, um, I, th I think that's a tear break for me too. So DK is in a tier ahead for me as opposed to DJ Moore. Now rankings wise, they may be a little bit closer, um, in terms of spots away from one another, but if I'm looking, if I'm at my draft and I am looking between taking DK Metcalf or DJ Moore I'm taking DK Metcalf not even close that's kind of what I mean by I'm saying which one not even close is when push comes to shove I'm in the draft and I've got those two options I'm taking DK Metcalf 